as well as performing for about, I don't know, many, many years on television and theatre and musical theatre, um, I then became a theatre director. I'm Ruby Adams, I'm a dance teacher and a performer. I teach and perform 1940s dance, 1920s dance, Charleston and Latin funk. I think it's um, the fun and the music actually. I actually think dance is such a social, exciting um, thing to be involved with. And no, I, th I think actually the music and the people that you get to meet motivates me into dance and performance. Giving people, whether it's actors or singers or whether it's um, just ordinary people who have never done any acting at all, um, the opportunity to find more of themselves, more creative expression. I suppose it means the protection of my creation. And if that creation is the written word, um, whether it's a workshop, whether it's a play or a book, um, I believe that copyright um, protects that work as representative of my creation. To me, copyright means um, claiming ownership over a certain object, move, music, piece of creative kind of work basically and showing that your ownership over that means that nobody else should use it without your permission because you've taken time or money or spent your energy into making this really, really good. As an actress and as a director, I am very likely to use other people's work. But it's generally copyrighted already and you've got permission to use it, whether it's a play, a well-known play. Um, you know, if, if one did an Alan Aitbourne play, we know that it's attributed to Alan Aitbourne and it's said on the programme, etc, etc. You also become inspired by work that you've seen and, um, yeah, you, you can't help in dance. You kind of, they, they say, steal like an artist. Every artist is inspired by other people and you can't help but let them influence your creative world. Um, so I guess in everything I do I take from other people but um, I'm a, I, I choreograph as well so I do use my own work but I do take other people's work and use it in some ways, yeah. If I've written something that's successful and somebody wants to use it I would want to be asked uh, for my permission to use it. Um, I believe that I would say yes, um, as long as I was acknowledged for it. I'm kind of flattered when people, I see people on the dance floor using moves or sets of moves that I put together um, on the dance floor. It's, the only issue is, is when people use the work and then say that they've choreographed it themselves. And it's, it's, to me, it's not about ownership and saying you can't use what I've created. It's just a matter of being polite and saying, yes, I found this, isn't this amazing? Ruby choreographed it. Being inspired by something, I think, is where you see something else and you take, away, you take bits away from it and then you go away and instead of watching it and copying and watching and copying, you're inspired by a whole piece. I am influenced by other people and writings and things and I think that if one can springboard from that and be inspired and influenced that way but not write it word for word, there lies the difference, I think. How would I protect my journey scripts, which are done on, on a workshop or a training? And then people might want to, you know, they really enjoyed it and they might want to copy it and, and take it on and do it somewhere else. Without my knowledge, how would I protect that? If I'm using somebody's music for a performance, am I allowed to edit that music? And can I change that up? Like cut bits on, put other bits, other songs onto the end of it? Is that okay? 